Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Street Talk and other stuff. Mike Mad Dog Magnati, first Monday in April, spring, spring, it's coming, we got it, the weather's gonna change. I did one of my favorite jobs on Saturday. I took down the heat tape, you know, the stuff that keeps my gutters from freezing, unplugged the extension cords and put them away, my favorite job of the year. Of course, the worst job of the year is when I plug them back in in the fall, but we're not gonna talk about that. But hey, nice to have you here today, good to be here. I got a good show, but I want to tell you a story, and I don't know if you guys knew, but there was a, a bank robbery recently in town. Um, it was kind of low-key, but well, actually it wasn't really low-key. But these two bank robbers, you know, walk into a bank right behind two lawyers that had come in to do a little business. And the bank robbers start waving guns around, yelling and screaming, everybody hands up, and the two lawyers were back against the wall, and they were like this, and the, the, the bank robbers started taking all the money from the tellers and that kind of stuff, and then they started going through the patrons, you know, making them take off their, their watches and their rings and their wallets. And suddenly one of the lawyers felt his lawyer friend stick something in his hand, and the lawyer said, what is this? And the other lawyer said, oh, that's the $100 I owe you. <laughs> okay, all right, look, I got a great show for you today. If you can see, we got a nice tablecloth on the table. That's because we don't want the table scratched. And you're going to see why in a minute, because a lot of misconceptions, a lot of misinformation about what we're going to talk about today. And I have got an expert here. We've got some good show and tell stuff we're going to show you. But hey, street talk and other stuff. Mike, Mad Dog, Magnata, you stick around. We'll be right back. I'm Jenny Rojanasatian. And this is Guada TV. Every week we will be bringing you a first look at North Central Washington business, tech, and education news. You'll hear from local influencers and innovators who live right here in the Valley. Together we'll discuss hot topics, current events, and resources that can support your business, our schools, and this community. Join me every week and let's get inspired. Just as we went on the air, Steve, NCW Life is live now on Facebook. Hey, how is about that? We're live, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dan Koontz, your host for the next hour. Every weekday, starting at 7 o'clock. Get ready for a bunch of news that's coming your way. Here's what's happening around North Central Washington. We'll have a rundown of all your local, regional, and statewide news. You can also find more on our website at ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. That's Wake Up Wenatchee Valley on NCW Life News. If you're stuck trying to find the perfect beer for you, look no further than Badger Mountain Brewing. We specialize in creating tantalizing craft beers that will soothe any picky taste buds and will satisfy your cravings. Check out everything from our amazing honey blonde that will appease even the most finicky taster or a delicious frothy stout for dark beer lovers. Experience them all at Badger Mountain Brewing. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Protect your family and save money with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to Guardian Services from Localtel. Call Guardian Security from Localtel now or visit localtel.net to learn more. Street Talk and other stuff, Mike, Mad Dog, Magnetic. Look at what we've got for you today. Now, I am very proud and honored to have my good friend, retired Marine Corps Major Guy Miner, retired police corporal from Wenatchee PD, mm -hmm. local gun expert, and also owner of GMM Defense, which is a handgun and firearm safety training program. Yeah. yeah. Okay, how long have you been doing that, by the way? Five years now. Really? Yeah, okay. I've been retired from the police department for four years, and I started about a year before I retired. Okay, now if you are interested in handgun safety, this is the gentleman to talk to. He knows what he's talking about, does a great job. And very, and he's a pretty nice guy, too. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but what I wanted Guy on here today is there's a lot of misconceptions and misunderstanding about what an assault rifle is and what semi-auto or full semi-auto or these terms people throw around. Um, quite frankly, some of the progressive politicians make claims and statements about weapons, which we're gonna try to clear up today, just so that you have some information so that you're accurate. Sure, you always threw me for a loop with full semi-auto. 
Well, have you heard that term? <laughs> I have heard that term, and okay. it, it means nothing. All right, well, look, let's start with that. Okay. What is the difference between an automatic weapon and a semi-automatic weapon, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, semi-automatic, very, very simply, is with one squeeze of the trigger, right. it shoots once. Right. And then you have to push the trigger again to get another one, and then another one. Every time you pull the trigger, it shoots once. With a full auto, when you have one of those things going, when you pull the trigger, it shoots, and it keeps shooting. Okay, and we have a video of a full auto. We do. That we're gonna show right now. So, this is a weapon that is fully automatic. This is a machine gun. Is that a, a proper term for sure. it? Sure. Okay. That's an M16. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what kind of, what is that, maybe a 100 round magazine? It looks He's like got a 100 there? round drum magazine. Okay, and what caliber does that? That, in, in civilian terms, we call it a 223. Okay. The military version is the 5.56. All right, and what rate of fire does that fire at? Oh, it depends on the exact variant, but they can be somewhere between 800 and 1,200 rounds a minute. Okay, so that weapon there, fully automatic, but a semi-automatic, again, can only fire as fast as a person can pull the trigger. Exactly. Okay, and this is what the guy in Las Vegas used a bump stock for, and we're not gonna get into bump stocks today, but that was something that was originally intended for people with disability to be able to shoot a weapon more easily, is that correct? I don't know about that okay. part of it, honestly. Okay. I know that, that uh, using the bump stock, you can mimic the full auto fire using a semi-auto weapon. Okay, now all of these weapons we have here today are different, but except for the shotgun, these are all semi-automatic weapons, which again means what? Not to reiterate, but one I want to One squeeze to know. of the trigger, one bullet downrange. Okay, so why do people get that confused? I'm guessing Hollywood, um, okay. I don't know. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. That video we just showed with all the brass flying out, that gun's gonna shoot until it's either out of ammo or the guy lets go of the trigger. Right. And with ours, you pull the trigger once, and it shoots once. Okay, okay. And what I wanna do is start with the most, e well, maybe we won't, okay? Let's talk about the granddaddy of all assault weapons. But first, before we get into that, um, you probably know this, but I'm gonna read how the Army, the U.S. Army defines an assault weapon, okay? Sure. And I wanna thank one of my Facebook clients today for sending me this, though I had actually looked it up beforehand. <laughs> okay, the U.S. Army defines an assault rifle thusly. An assault rifle is a short, compact, select fire weapon Select fire means is that you can choose to shoot it as semi-auto, one shot at a time, or sometimes a three-shot burst, right. or... or full auto. Okay. Um, a compact select fire weapon that fires a cartridge intermediate in power between submachine gun and rifle cartridges. Now, what does that mean as far as intermediate in power? Well, a uh, uh, submachine gun typically fires what we would think of as a pistol cartridge, 9 millimeter, okay. 45, something like that. And then a rifle cartridge is usually far more powerful. Um, the 223 or 556 five, being on kind of the low end of that power scale, but it's a rifle cartridge. So in between there, there's a few cartridges that might be considered. Okay. And again, the M16 fired a 223 caliber, yes. is that right? Have I yes. got that right? Yes. Whereas a Thompson submachine gun shot a 45, if I, I remember did. right. Okay. And no, we don't have a Thompson today. Too bad. Wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool? They are cool. Okay, now this is probably something you knew too. Do you know where the assault rifle term originated? Wouldn't that come from the Germans? Exactly. A German Sturmweger 44, or STG 44, was actually the first weapon in Sturmweger, if I'm Sturm, Sturm, <laughs> <laughs> My German is not so good. Bear, okay. that, yeah, that word right there. <laughs> is it you pronounce it? Okay, it actually meant assault rifle. It was a short, compact, select fire weapon that um, was probably one of the best that it has the Germans a had. Great reputation even yeah. today. Okay, and I think they still use them, if I remember correctly. They might. I don't okay, know. It could be. Okay, but I want to talk about the most popular assault weapon as far as numbers out there, and that's this one here. Okay, you want to tell about the AK-47 a little bit? Yeah, well, AK-47 uh, came up with that a good long time ago. It's a very rugged, reliable gun. It was developed by a guy named Kalashnikov. Uh, he was a Soviet, 
and he was a firearms genius. That thing will uh, shoot no matter how badly you treat it. Yeah, I think you throw it in a mud puddle, let a truck run over it, take it out, hose off the sand, then it will still fire. Yeah, and so. they're found all over the world in uh, semi and full auto versions. Right. Um, it's actually, it's a great gun. But this was one of the weapons that was banned during the Clinton ban of 1994, is that correct? Yes. Okay. And you can probably tell us why. I'll demonstrate part of it right now. Well, if I can push this button. The folding stock. The stock is supposed to fold. There, there it hey, goes. Hey, there we go. There it goes. See? Ooh, just clears the magazine. Yeah. Now, that's part of it. That's one of the reasons why it was banned. Why yeah. else? Detachable magazine. Exactly. Um, does this have a uh, flash hider on the front uh, or a provision for it? Kind of, sort of. Okay. Kind of, sort of. I don't know if that would have been legal back in the assault weapons ban era. Okay, I don't know if that's a f what they yeah. call that or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, pistol grip. Pistol grip is evil. Okay. Very evil. <laughs> and this one actually was a weapon that was banned during the Clinton years. So yes, far. it was. Okay. So, all right. Let's talk about another one, all right? Let's talk about the one that is you know, the proposed and purported to be the evil weapon now, the AR-15. I think we happen to have one with we us do, today. We do, we do. The evil black rifle here, AR-15. Okay. And what does AR stand for? That it, would stand for Armalite. That's the it company It doesn't that, stand for assault rifle? No. Oh. No. It stands okay. for Armalite, the All company right. that developed the thing. Um, and it's actually, people sometimes think it's a new gun. It's actually been out since the 50s and 60s. Uh, it's been around a long time. Okay. And di different variations on it. It's extremely popular. Um, lots and lots of people use them. What would make this one banned back in the assault weapons ban era? Flash suppressor. Right. Bayonet lug. Bayonet lug, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've never had a bayonet on there, but it'd be kind of fun, I think. Okay. Um, detachable magazine, the evil pistol grip. And the magazine can hold between the magazines There's you're going to get. That's going to be a 30 round a 30 magazine. 30 round correct? magazine. See a big curve to it, and then a the little straight one is a 20-shot magazine. Okay, and the 30-round magazine, again, is something that people want eliminated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, telescoping buttstock, make it longer or shorter to fit you or be a little more compact to carry around. Um, yeah, yeah, and this evil pistol grip. The pistol grip's kind of funny because during the assault weapons ban era, the manufacturers just started making thumb hole stocks and incorporating oh, okay. that. Oh, so, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I remember somebody yeah. buying an AK-47 with a really weird-looking stock, and it was one of those thumb hole yeah. stocks. Yeah, there were just all kinds of workarounds, because it, it was a ban on cosmetic things that they picked different parts of the gun to outlaw, um, and so the manufacturers kind of, you know, shrugged their shoulders and mm -hmm. made a few adjustments on the manufacturing line and kept building the same gun that looked a little different. Okay, now is it safe to say, hold that up again so people can get a good look at it. Sure. Is it safe to say that part of the reason why people are, don't like this weapon is because of how it looks? Sure, it looks scary. Okay, yeah, and particularly when you put the magazine in it. Oh, yeah. I mean, now that's the thing about the AK. I mean, you take the magazine out, you know, and it's not quite so innocuous, but you put the magazine in, and it's empty, folks, okay? You know, we checked these beforehand. We did. And again, this is the weapon you see when you go to a movie and all the Arabs are running around shooting everybody yelling out, yeah. Akbar, waving this <laughs> Yes. I mean, it, it looks mean. It, it looks scary. It does. Okay? They both do. All right. Yeah. And that one does too, and that's part of it, all right? Yeah. Now, I want to talk about something important, but what round does that carry? What bullet does that fire? The civilian version of it is the 223, right? And the military version is called the 5.56. They're very, very similar. Okay, and that will accept a five-round, twenty-round, and thirty-round magazine. Yes. All right, and it's a semi-auto, so it fires once every time you pull the trigger. Yes. Okay. Now, folks, we need to take a break. Okay, when we come back, I want you to remember what we just talked about as far as the AR-15 is concerned, because I want to make a comparison, and I also want to point out that this was a weapon that people want banned now, and that was also banned during the Clinton years. Correct. Okay, all right, so we're gonna come back in a minute, but keep that information in mind, but we need to take a quick break. So Street Talk and other stuff, I'm talking with uh, who I call Colonel Guy Miner, our weapons expert here today, and stick around, we'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is State Representative Kerry Condotta inviting you to check out our newest show on the NCW Life channel. We call it the 12th District. Each week, we'll be taking an in-depth look at various political issues that affect our area, our state, and the world. We'll be featuring local and statewide experts on the subject matter at hand. Please join us weekly for the 12th District with yours truly, Kerry Condotta. Check your channel guide for times or go to ncwlife.com for details. Thursday night, hockey night on the NCW Life Channel. It all begins at 7 o'clock with a call of the wild and Clarkie's Corner. Then it's non-stop hockey action with the voice of the wild, Arch Ecker. Join us as the wild battle the rest of the BCHL. Thursday night is hockey night on the NCW Life Channel. This is TV. This is TV Set Free. TV Everywhere from Localtel sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV Set Free. Enjoy the extra value Localtel delivers with TV Everywhere. Visit Localtel.net and sign up today. Hi, I'm Eric Grandstrom, your host for Let's Learn here on the NCW Live channel. On this program, we take a little extra time to dive into various subjects to learn more about them, whether it's taxes, investing, death or dying, or anything else for that matter. We'll learn more about it right here. It's Let's Learn on the NCW Live channel. Come on, let's learn together. Street talk and other stuff. Thanks for coming back. I'm talking with uh, Guy Miner, our weapons expert. He is the owner and operator of GMM Defense, which is a handgun and firearm safety program. That's his business that he runs. Does a great job. Uh, how many people have you trained? You've been doing it five years. Or so. Hundreds. Really? Hundreds of people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you add in the pepper spray classes on top of that, and it probably goes well up over, you know, well into the thousands. Okay. When you train people with pepper spray, do you actually spray them like we with had to be water, before we carried them? With water. With water. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's much, it's a very gentle version of pepper spray <laughs> training. We, we don't get to do what you and we I We got sprayed do. right in the face. With real okay. pepper spray. Yeah, exactly. It was nasty. And then and we had was. to get shot with the tasers. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. to do that too. Yeah. You know, and then when they issued 45s, we said no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> do that All right. So we were talking before the break about the AR-15. Hold that up again. Okay. Sure. This is the evil weapon that everybody wants banned, okay, mm -hmm. that was banned during the Clinton years. This is the one that everyone is accusing as being involved with school shootings, because I don't know actually how many were actually used. I don't okay? know. Okay. As far as a 223 round, it will accept the 5, 20, and 30 round magazine uh, and shoots in semi-auto mode every time you pull the trigger, it fires. Now, go ahead. Let's take a look at the Ruger Mini 14 ranch rifle, okay? Well, this is not the ranch rifle, but oh, okay. it is a Ruger Mini 14. I'm sorry. What, what's the difference with the ranch rifle? Ranch rifle is simply, it's got some uh, uh, places milled in the receiver, so it accepts a scope better. Oh, okay. That's the All biggest right, but difference. But that's really the only difference between the two. Yeah. Okay, again, hold that up so people can see that. What does this look like? How scary is it? I mean, it looks like a rifle. It looks like your basic little hunting rifle, something okay. you might have in the cab of your pickup truck if you're out, you know, and out hunting someplace or if you're just out in the hills. Yeah. Was this weapon ever banned? Uh, versions of it were. Okay, versions, and we're going to show why in a were. minute. Yeah. Okay. But, but, but would this weapon the, be banned? Your base, no, because it has no evil pistol grip, right. no evil uh, flash suppressor, no bayonet threaded mount. muscle, yeah, right. no, no bayonet mount. Okay. Yeah. And yet it shoots the exact same way the AR-15, one shot, one pull. See, and this is why I wanted to bring this on, folks. I'm not trying to make a point here. I'm not trying to argue one thing or another. I'm just trying to get us clarified in our mind of what we're talking about. The AR-15 was one that was banned. It's one people want banned now. Now, this rifle here does the exact same thing, okay? It's semi-automatic, which means every time you pull the trigger, it shoots. It will accept the 5, 20, and 30 round magazine. It shoots a 223 round uh, caliber round, all right? Mm -hmm. It does exactly the same thing. It's just that here. Let me hold that one. You hold the AR. <laughs> one's scary, one's not. 
Right. Okay, well, it's scary as a gun. If Rosie was here, she'd go, oh, I don't <laughs> like guns. Like guns. And, yeah, and, and I get that. You know, some people just don't like guns. Okay, and it's just, it's the psychological thing, all right? Now, some of these were banned, and Caitlin, I think you've got pictures of, uh, of a Ruger Mini-14 that was modified. That's when they're, okay, now again, that looks like an assault rifle. Right, okay. it's got the telescoping buttstock and the pistol grip. Yeah, that's a okay. scary looking little gun. Yeah, and that's a 20 round magazine that's got in it there, Looks right? Looks like it. Okay. But again, come back to these two here. Two weapons doing the exact same thing. One's going to be banned, one's not. All right. Mm -hmm. Now I've got another example of that. Okay. This one, real scary. All right. This is what we call a tactical shotgun. Now, this one was also banned during the Clinton years for what reasons? The folding buttstock. Right? Yep. That's and one the, reason. And the pistol grip. Pistol grip. Yep. Okay. Other than that, it's very, very similar to your basic duck hunting gun. Yeah, exactly. Now, we have a picture of a Remington Model 870, Caitlin. Go ahead and put that up if you would. Okay. <clears throat> All right, there. This is a duck hunting gun. <laughs> that is. And we carried these in our police cars when we still had shotguns, except they had a shorter barrel. They yeah. were referred to as a riot gun. Right. Okay. Barrel was probably closest to this one here. Exact same weapon. Okay. Exact same weapon as to what I'm holding. Go ahead and bring it back to... This one here. It's just different modification. Again, it's got a folding buttstock, as we said. It's got a pistol grip. And I think this one has a little, I think this will carry seven rounds instead of five. And mm -hmm. the seven round magazines were banned during the Clinton years as well, right? They were. And your typical duck hunting, you're limited to three shots. Okay. So. And wh what was the purpose for that? I mean, I'm not saying whether it was right or wrong. I just don't know why they trying to keep it from being as, as, as bad, as nasty a weapon, as capable of as many shots. Okay. Uh, again, Remington Model 870 shotgun. You could hunt ducks with this. You well, probably. could. You could. <laughs> You'd look a little weird, <laughs> you know. But again, it's just simply because of the buttstock, the pistol grip, that this weapon was on the ban list. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> where are we going with all this? I mean, what... What are people practically trying to do? And I don't blame them, okay? The school shooting thing is is horrendous, okay? School shootings are bad. All I right. think everybody agrees with that. And how many AR-15s were used during school shootings? I don't know. There haven't okay. been that many. There haven't been that many. The worst school shooting was carried out with handguns. Exactly, and that was the one... The Virginia yeah. Tech? Right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. What do you say to folks, okay? I mean, they know you're a gun guy, mm -hmm. okay? They know this is your business. What do you say to them when they ask you? I mean, how could, I mean, do you get much negative input from people? Um, Positive and negative, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get both. Um, you know, we could, you can debate why the school shootings are happening and all. Interesting thing is, Mike, these guns have been around for a long time. Sure. 50s and 60s, we had AR-15s, AKs, shotguns, many 14s came along a little bit later. I think they came out in the 70s. Uh, we've had these guns for a long, long time. We didn't used to have school shootings. Right. There's something, something wrong in somebody's yeah. head. There's something else going on. Yeah. So, okay, how, okay, a friend of mine, guy from New York City, uh, my friend Vince, once said to me, why would a person even have, we have weapons like this? First of all, they're fun to shoot. They are okay, indeed target very shooting fun, is fun to shoot. To shoot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And target shooting is a legitimate sport, correct? It is. It is. In fact, the AR-15 is used in our, natch, our national matches mm -hmm. uh, to see who's the best shot in the country. Okay. Um, and, and people compete with them. Um, this a little different version than this. But yeah, they're, they're used in competition. They're used in hunting. Uh, I can think of no firearm that I'd rather have for defending myself, my home, my family, my campsite than a good semi-automatic rifle. Right. And how come that is? Why would you pick that? Oh, it's light, accurate, reliable. Uh, yeah, I can, they're easy to handle. Not to, you know, got some range to it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, so let's say this. Someone comes to you and they want to, you know, have handgun training and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. What type of thing do you tell them right off the bat? Well, I try to find out why they want their handgun training. Right. And, and I've had some, uh, the usual response is, um, I am, I'm, I'm getting a handgun to, for self-protection or to defend my, my family. Right. And says, okay, fine, what do you know about handguns? Usually very little. 
And so I said, all right, why don't you, before you buy one, why don't you come out and train with me and we'll take a look and we'll start you out nice and easy with the 22. Right. It's so easy to shoot. We start out with the safety rules. We go over the safety rules and how to handle the gun safely, load it and unload it safely, all that stuff. And basically the, the basic handgun class revolves all around safety and, and hitting the target. And that's okay. part of safety. Okay. Yeah. All right, well look, we need to take a break, but when we come back, I wanna talk to the guy a little bit more both about his business and about protecting our children if he was willing to give us a brief opinion. But hey, street talk and other stuff. Mike Mandog Magnati, you stick around. We'll be right back. At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food, freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house, fresh, daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Channel. I'm Eric Grandstrom with NCW Life Sports. I'm NCW Life News Director Steve Hare. Watch us on Local Tell Channel 12. Watch us on Charter Channel 19 or stream us live on ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Where we cover the local high schools, the Wenatchee Wild, and the pro teams out of Seattle. On Saturday, we have a 90% chance of rain. Catch it all right here on the NCW Life Channel. Dear Mary Maid, please clean the kitchen and the cabinets and the floors and the chairs. And I wish you could clean the dog. <sighs> Colin is now feeding himself. Thanks, Megan. Hi, Megan. No worries. We got it all cleaned up. Let's hope Colin gets past the spaghetti flinging stage soon. Till then, we've got you covered. See you next time, Mary Maids. Just as went went on the air, Steve, NCW Life is live now on Facebook. Hey, how is about that? We're live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm Dan Koontz, your host for the next hour. Every weekday, starting at 7 o'clock. Get ready for a bunch of news that's coming your way. Here's what's happening around North Central Washington. We'll have a rundown of all your local, regional, and statewide news. You can also find more on our website at ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. That's Wake Up Wenatchee Valley on NCW Life News. Street talking other stuff. Mike Mad Dog Magnetti, I want to thank you, Guy. Guy Miner, he is the owner operator of GMM Defense Firearm Safety. Just tell us a little bit about that, if you would, real quick. If people sure. want to get in touch with you. Sure. So. Small business here in the Wenatchee area. Uh, we do most of the firearms training up at the North Central Washington Gun Club. And right. they can get a hold of me uh, via Facebook. I've got a Facebook page for GMM Defense. Okay. That's probably the best way to find it. Yeah, you. and you can even, you know, contact me, Mad Dog, at nwi.net or on Facebook, and I can get you in touch with Guy. Now, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but the school shooting thing, okay? All right. I'm sorry, you're an expert. You're a firearms expert. What do you feel needs to be done for this situation? Okay, there's a kid out there now with either the weapons in hand or access to them planning a school shooting. How do we stop or deter that person? There's a whole laundry list, but I think that right away, very, very quickly, we could put in metal detectors, get those things up going quickly, and let's get somebody at the school who can shoot back. Right, and okay. whether that's it's been one I've been arguing, you know. Police, security officers, whatever we sure. want to do. Somebody there, good guy with a gun. Um, I mean, it just worked. Sure. It did. Now, of course, there's no guarantee. There's no solution that's going to be totally comprehensive. And there's no. nothing that's going to guarantee something isn't going to happen. Okay? Right. But again, there is a kid out there now with access to the weapons or in his possession it is already, and he is planning a shooting we need to do something to stop or deter that person. So hey, Colonel. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thanks for being here. All right, Street Talk and other stuff, Mike Mad Dog Magnati. Next week, we're gonna take things a little different direction. There's a new venue called Radar Station, and a gentleman named Ron Evans has been running it for a while. He's gonna be my guest next week. We're gonna talk about something interesting to do if you're into kind of an alternative art lifestyle. <laughs> right here at you. But hey, Street Talk and other stuff, Mike Mad Dog Magnati. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.